Well, we're going to talk now about renal physiology. We'll start by looking at the basic functional unit of the kidney, which is the nephron. The first part in the diagram is the Bowman's capsule. And this consists of a glomerulus, which is a tuft of capillaries, which is surrounded by the capsule itself, which is going to be the first part of the nephron tubular system. The glomerular capillaries are supplied by the afferent arteriole, which is bringing blood into that capillary network, and then the efferent arteriole takes the blood away again. And the idea is that some component of the plasma within the capillaries is going to be filtered out into the Bowman's capsule, whereupon it starts its journey along the nephron. So if you were going to say in one word what this part of the kidney is for, you would say ultrafiltration. And ultrafiltration refers to filtration under pressure. There's pressure in the capillaries which is helping to drive the fluid out. So what gets filtered? Well, really things that are small enough to be filtered because the filtration barrier excludes larger molecules and also in particular blood cells. The barrier itself is composed of the endothelial cells of the capillary and then you've got a basement membrane which is a collagenous membrane on which those cells are mounted if you like and then on the other side you've got the beginning of the Bowman's capsule which is the podocyte cells which form the epithelium there. The podocyte cells have finger-like processes which interdigitate forming what looks rather like a sieve if you look at an electron micrograph. So you've got then these three barriers capillary cell, basement membrane, podocyte cell and that helps to sieve out the larger particles and prevent them from crossing. In fact, it's not based entirely on size, it's also based on charge as well. And it turns out that all three layers of the barrier are negatively charged, and that helps to repel, in particular, plasma proteins, which tend to be negatively charged. And that means it's even more difficult for proteins to be filtered. Having said that, although you might hear in some rather simplistic accounts that proteins are not filtered at all, in fact they are filtered, the smaller ones anyway, to some certain extent. And of course once you do filter your proteins, later on you're going to have to break them down and recapture the amino acids, which happens later on in the tubule. But certainly anything smaller than a protein, and that would include water and salts, that are dissolved in the plasma are going to be filtered more or less freely into the Bowman's capsule and it's certainly going to be the case that blood cells are not going to be filtered and they then remain in the blood. So a proportion of the plasma is going to be filtered into the Bowman's capsule and then it's going to continue the journey along the nephron. The glomerular filtration rate as it's referred to is 125 milliliters per minute that at least is the textbook value. So 125 milliliters of plasma is going to be filtered off every minute and then the kidney processes that fluid.